Hello everyone, my name is Miss Kat. I am part of the high school program here at Horizons, but I'm here today to work with you on our next um, activity kit that we got this month. So if you're in kindergarten or first or second grade, you should have gotten the connecting 10 frames trays. And what you can, what this is for is it's for math counting purposes. So you should use it to practice your numbers, practice your addition. You can play games with your family or with your friends. So today we're going to open the box, see what's inside, and then we're going to do some games and I'll show you how to use it. So this should be big fun. So the first thing we find when we open our box is the most important thing, which is the directions. Anytime you ever get some sort of box or kit or game, you should always read the directions first. And what's exciting is as soon as you open it, you get the English version. But if you flip open to the next page, the top here has the Spanish version. So I'm going to leave the directions out just in case I need to reference them. And the next thing in the box is our frames. So these are our 10 frames. And you know why they are called 10 frames? Because they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 squares. So they're 10 frames. And we also have some 5 frames. Can you guess why they're 5 frames? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares. And the next thing in our box are these fun little circles. And if you open them up, you'll realize one side is blue and one side is green. And this is important to note for later because most of the time when we do our, like, putting the discs onto the tray, you want to use all of the same color. But if you want to, at some point, you can also use the green if green is more color for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we're going to use our 5 and our 10 frames. So the first thing I want to talk about is you will always go from left to right side. So when you're inserting your discs, make sure you're always going from right to left, okay? So right now we've added one, two, this is three, four, and five. So our entire five frame is filled and we went from left to right and I may have lost a disc. And on our 10 frame, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go from left to right and we're gonna fill the entire top one first before we fill the bottom one. So I have a little test. This is the first test of the day. How many discs are in the square or in the 10 frame right now? If you guessed five, you would be correct. And then we're gonna add our six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we went from left to right, top to bottom. So when we're building numbers on the frame, we're gonna use the same ones. So if we wanted to do two, for example, we're going to put two discs into the frame in the same color. But let's say I asked you a question that was two plus three. Then you would use a new color to show three. And when you looked at this, you would see two, and then you would see three. And when I said, what is two plus three, what would the answer be? The answer would be five. So make sure when you're using, when you're doing addition or subtraction, and you're using two different numbers, make sure then you use different color discs. So the first game we're going to play is about recognizing numbers. So I'm going to hold up a five frame and there's going to be a number of discs in each square. And you're going to look at it for a minute. I'm going to put a piece of paper over it so you can't see. And then I'm going to ask you what number you saw. Because there's, there maybe there'll be three discs, but, you know, in here. And then I'm going to go, whoo, how many discs? What was the number? And then you'll tell me that the answer was three. So that's the first game we're going to play. Are you excited? I'm, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so going from left to right, I'm going to add some discs. Okay, what number did you see? If you guessed four, you would be correct. And you would be correct because there are 
one, two, three, four discs in the five tray. If you thought that was easy, then that's totally great, because what we're going to do now is make it even harder. So now we're going to use the 10 frame. So I'm going to hold up a, uh, a tray, and you have to tell me in three seconds how many, what number you see. One, two, three. Okay, what number did you see? If you guessed five, you would be correct because there are one, two, three, four, five discs in the tray. Now we're going to play again. Okay, I hope you're counting. Okay, I know that might have been quick, but the whole point is that you're supposed to look at it and recognize what the number total is there. So how many discs did you see? Was it eight? Because the answer here would be eight, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight discs in our 10 frame tray. And then if we added, for example, we added two more to this tray, what number would we have now? If we did eight plus two, would the answer be 10? Because I think it'd be 10. So now I'm going to ask you some questions so that you can pull up your board and let me know what the right answer is. So I'm going to ask you a question, you're going to do it on your own board, and then we'll talk about the answer together. So the first question is, how can you make the number 6 on a 10 frame? Did you think of the answer yet? Did you add it to your tray? So when I pull up 6, 6 looks like this for me. Because we start from left to right and we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6 on your 10 frame. Now what's exciting is you can add together a 10 frame and a 5 frame. And then, how many squares do we have now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 squares now. So now we're going to play the same game again, and I'm going to say, I'm going to ask you a question, you're going to put it into your own frame. Make sure you connect them so they don't fall apart. So I want you to show me 11 uh, discs on the 10 frame. So 11. Were you able to make 11 yet? So when I make 11, I my tray looks like this. Now the question is, how many more discs would it take to make 15 total discs? Does anybody know the answer? So the answer would be four, because if you added one, two, uh, three, and four, you would now have 11 plus 4, which equals 15. So now I'm going to ask you to show me 6, the number 6 on a 15 frame. So why don't you go ahead and show me what 6 looks like. Were you able to do it? So my frame looks like this with 6. So now the question is, how, many, how else could you show me the number 6 if you didn't do it in this format? So I'm going to do it real quick right now too. Six might also look like this, or it might even look like this. Every time you look at the frame, you're going to see six discs, and within about three to four seconds, you should be able to look at this and say, the answer is six. So, you saw it. I'm going to take one away. How many? If you guessed five, you would be correct. So practicing these skills of seeing a certain number of something and being able to say exactly, is it one, two, three, four, five, etc., that's really important for learning your addition and your subtraction and understanding numbers. Because I want to be able to know if I want to eat, you know, three cookies, I don't want to actually end up eating ten without realizing it, because then I might feel sick. So we're going to try to stick to maybe three cookies. So now we're gonna play a game where I'm gonna give you some clues as to what my number on the frame is, 
and you're going to put on your frame a number of discs that you think are the correct number that I'm thinking of. So, for example, right now I'm thinking of a number that is on my 10 frame, it's less than 10 discs. So there should be under 10 discs on your frame right now. So why don't you go ahead and add that on your frame. So now the next riddle question, the next riddle clue is how many or my number is less than 10, but it's more than four. So how many discs do you have on your on your board now? So the next clue is my 10 frame has an odd number on it. So we know that we know that if it's odd, that means it's not even. There are two options for numbers. So my frame is less than 10 discs, more than four, and is an odd number. So your frame should look a little different now. And the last clue is my number is it has one more than six discs. So now on your board, you should have seven discs because seven is less than 10. It's more than four. It's an odd number because the odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine, and going on. And it's one more than six. So if you do six plus one, I can even show you that six plus one, you get seven. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna think about addition. So on my one 10 frame right now, I have six discs. Now let's say I asked you to do six plus four. Does anybody know what the answer to that is? I'm gonna show you on my board six Six discs plus four discs equals 10. So we have our entire 10 frame you know, covered and six plus four equals 10. What's another way you could show me six plus four? Another way you could show me is having six green and four blue. So now we have six plus four and does that still equal 10? I think it does. So what's another way to add to 10? We know that six plus four equals 10, whether it's six plus four or four plus six. What about if we had, what's another way to do to equal 10? Would you, would you think it might be five plus five? Because we have one, two, three, four, five green, and one, two, three, four, five blue. And if you add them together, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we filled up our entire 10 frame right now using five plus five. But like we did before, six plus four also equals 10. What's another way you can think about creating 10 on your board? Another way might be three plus seven. Or maybe seven plus three. Another way might be eight plus two. Or if you flip it, we have um, two plus eight. So now what I've done is I've connected two 10 frames together. So I have a board that has 20 discs on it because 10 on this side plus 10 on this side equals 20. So now we're going to do some even bigger numbers. So now I'm going to ask you, how would you get 20 using two different numbers? One way you can get 20 is doing 10 plus 10. So we know that using one frame over here, if we disconnect these, all right, so if we disconnect it, we know that this, let's imagine that that didn't just fall off. So if we have 10 here, we know that this is one half of 20 because 10 plus 10 over here, 10 plus 10 together equals 20. What's 
What's another way you could show me 20? If you count by 5, we know that 5, 10, 15, and 20. So we know that 4 times of 5 would equal 20. So if we showed that on the boards, that would be 10 disks here plus 5 disks here. So 10 plus 5 equals 15. And then we added 5 more disks. That would be 20. So if we did 15 plus 5, that would equal 20. What's another way you can do you can do something to equal 20 if you didn't count by fives? So maybe if you did 16 plus 4 or 4 plus 16, that's another way you can do it. You can show that on your board. And if you think that you're doing a really good job and maybe this is a little too easy for you, maybe it's too hard and then we'll keep practicing. But if you think this is really easy, you can even add on more boards. So now how many do we have on this board? You want to count with me? So we have 10 here. If we do 5 plus 5 is 10. And then we do 5 again plus 10 would be 15 and then 20. And then we have 25 and 30. So now you have a board that has 30 squares. And then you can do things like, you know, 20 plus 10 or, you know, 13 plus 14 or 13 plus 6. There's a lot of different options you can do to practice your addition. And then if you were getting really crazy and you wanted to do some subtraction, you could go back to your original 10 frame and we could do 6 minus 3. And who can tell me what 6 minus, oh, 6 minus 3 equals? 6 minus 3 is still 3, because 3 plus 3 equals 6. So we know that with, with um, addition and subtraction, you can add numbers together to get a sum, or you can take a certain number away from a bigger number to get um, the, the uh, answer to that. So if we did 10 minus 5, we would get 5. Or if we did 10 minus 2, we might get 8. So there's a lot of different options for how you can practice with your disks and your addition and subtraction. So if you want to learn more math games, I would recommend going through the instruction packet and looking at all of the games here and the games here. And you can pretend that the discs are baseballs or cookies or maybe your favorite uh, animal. Maybe these are little turtles. It's really whatever you want to make it more fun and whatever you think will help you practice your addition even better. So thank you so much for playing some math games with me. I hope you learned some more about addition. I learned about all these cool ways, these frames and these discs can help, can help us learn. So thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.